We gotta go through this again? What's it about this time? That's private. I don't go asking about how you like to get laid, and I don't want to know. Enough of that. What are you doing stealing my stuff? That ain't even mine. I mean, it's mine, but it's private. Give it back. Hell, don't give it back. I don't care. Just found it when we was working salvage and thought I'd save it to give to some kid if one came by. Hey there. I said, fuck off. You're right about that. St. James, got a thief here. I'm going to assume you had reason to kill Dermot and his pet. Always had a bad feeling about them. But everyone else here is hands off. I'll take a look, just to see what sort of shit they were into. What? Those bastards? Selling folks off to the fiends? Selling children to Cook Cook? I've seen enough. You did everyone a service. Take these. Might help if you get in a jam. That tower on the strip, the one you can see for miles? I hear it ain't sealed up no more. Always knew there was something wrong with Dermot and St. James. Neither one ever got busy between my legs. If you're looking to get perverted, go talk to Sweetie. She's less particular than I am. Good luck. Still wasting your time in this pit, honey? See you. Evening. That fiend leader shouldn't have messed with our great army. Forlorn Hope was massacred. How are the troops gonna defend poor sobs like us? Dermot being dead, I don't care about, but St. James was regular income. Maybe you could... Throw some business my way. Same price as before, baby. And worth every little cap. I'm gonna make your toes curl, baby. Did you know the strip's all stirred up lately? First the Legion takes Nelson, then it wipes out Camp Four Lord. He is the artist. Hi again. Goodbye. I keep hearing about some courier making a fuss over at the strip. Must have delivered more than just mail. Name's Bob, but folks around here call me Klamath Bob. 
What can I do you for? <laughs> yeah, good old Klamath. Not a bad place if you like hunting, eating, and skinning geckos all day. <laughs> it's a pretty dull place, but I hear there was a bit of excitement when this tribal from Arroyo came to town years back. All before my time, though. I might have some answers for you. What did you want to know? I run the liquor store on Westside. With things this rough, some folks need a lot of booze just to step out of the door in the morning. After I close up shop, I walk around and help keep the peace. Not that I'm good with a gun, mind you, but someone's got to do it, you know? Well, things aren't great here, but I've seen a lot worse. We've got the fiends to the south of us, and that ain't good. The scorpions hang out at the Monte Carlo when they aren't slinging chems or getting their heads blown off by the fiends. Probably the best thing we've got going on is the co-op, run by Mr. Etienne. Get some help from the followers of the apocalypse, I think. Not so much lately. The NCR is giving them hell any time they poke their damn heads out. Bless those boys and gals for getting rid of that vermin. I feel pity for any man or woman that gets addicted to chems. But when they prey on decent folk, well, then it's time to put them down. Not much to tell. Typical gang of dumb bullies and angry nobodies. They're holed up a bit south of here, in the Monte Carlo Suites. They think they're tough, but any time they tangle with the fiends, they get torn right up. Food from the people and for the people. Anyone can buy, but the profits are shared by the folks who make the produce. Locals got these little gardens that do real well. Gosh darn well, truth be told. Etienne got some help from that Anderson kid, I think. Anyway, we don't gotta rely on merchants so much. And it means the troopers can use all the food they make over on east side. Works out nice. What else did you want to chat about? Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's mean son of a bitch. I know the name sounds bad, but he likes it. He's one nasty old coot. Far as I can tell, he's one of them original super mutants. What came from the boneyard. Wandered about after that master fellow died. Eventually got caught somewhere around the hub back in NCR. Boy, they sure treated him mean down there. Cut him up so bad he can't talk no more. I tried to buy him just so they'd stop hurting him. But they didn't want any of it. Turns out some of them night kids, whatever you call those sneaky super mutant types, got in and busted them out. I guess somebody named Tabitha led the bunch that freed him. Don't know much more than that. He just showed up here one day. Couldn't really talk, but he remembered me all right. Ever since then, he's just been, well, hanging around, I guess. Does odd jobs for folks and smashes the bad guys when they come poking around. Some folks steer clear of him, for sure, but he don't seem to mind. What else did you want to chat about? Sure. All right, then. Hopefully I've got something to wet your whistle. Okay, then. Hello again. Bye. 